All right, guys, welcome back to the scrapyard. Um, not going to be a very long stay today, mainly, well, there's a few reasons, but one of which we've got this rare thing in the UK. And being that I live in the UK, I'm not used to that, so it's a bit hot for me. But there are a number of things that I want to get done today. The last video um, was about bolting the body down finally. You saw um, I got all the bolts in place and now I've taken them back out. So the reason for that is um, I'm just going to give them some paint. So just a little extra protection. So I'm just going to give them a little ride on the wire wheel here. Clean them all up. You notice these original ones here and these aftermarket. You see that difference there. Thickness, so it would be really nice to get all of these, but I've got what I've got, they'll work. Um, I've even got the rear mount plates, I'm going to paint them because they're just I don't know what that is, it's got a coating or something, I think. And the front ones as well, it's under the fuel tank. So I'm going to give all them clean up, uh, adjust them with some black hammer effect paint, which will end up looking like this one here and the rest over there and while that is drying i've got a look at the seat um i recently did a front wheel bearing and i'm not some clicking coming from there i think it's just going to be a back and plate catching on something i hope i think that's all it is but i need to investigate that um so that's all i've got planned for today really obviously i'm going to put those uh washers and everything back in place once they're all painted up and we'll have a look at them once they're done all right guys they're looking pretty snazzy now nice and cleaned up i'll put some paint on them um luckily for me is some that we've done earlier so that's the kind of finish we're going to get and they look like the more original ones than these thin things so i swap those out so luckily i didn't have to clean them up so we've got all them and one thing i will say is if you're starting out and you're not sure what tools to buy that you're going to need, advice is up there with the basic starter tools that you're going to want to get. Well, I don't know if you class it as a tool, but I've had this car probably over 15 years. I've been mean, going through it, um, restoring it solidly now for about two years, probably, I would say. And I've only just got a vice and already it just world of difference. Normally to clean this off the Y wheel on a drill, I'd probably have it clamped to the bench or be chasing it around something dangerous like that. Sorry, camera work. But uh don't be stupid like me. Get a vice early on if you're gonna be doing any of this stuff. It's gonna do it for today guys. Um Got all them washers painted up and in place. See the ones there for the front mounts. And then the rears. Both sides done. And there we go, see all them. I also took every one of them back out with the bolts, so let's spray some of this in. Aerosol for this stuff's great. Um recommend you get some of that. I've been going crazy with it. I've got it uh, sprayed everything. See all the steering components there, you can just see everywhere where it's got cover. It's anywhere that might seize up that I want to be able to get to easily. All the threads on these have been done. Um, yeah, let's give everything a good uh, caught in with that. I was going to do the next thing. Um, what is the next thing? Oh, actually, I'm waiting on something. Um, so I can start work on the engine. Sorry looking thing. So I've ordered one of the um, yoke stands, mount stands for the engine. If you're not familiar with them, do a quick search, they're uh, really good. 
ideal for this engine so I'm, I'm going to get one of them and that's going to go in my engine stand there and then that will allow me to rotate the engine do a stud repair on the underside so that will be the next video next time I'm over here um, I've still got a uh, axle boot to put on down there I want to give that all a good clean first and then I can see about fitting all the wings get everything in place make sure I'm happy with the fitment ready for paint um, which will probably be the next step still got all the wiring to um, run through the car and hook up it's uh, a bit of a scary uh, thing for me to tackle but we'll get it done got everything else done here but that's going to end it for now thanks for everyone for watching subscribing comment everyone comment please just anything you think on the restoration what you think i should do instead or anything you can recommend for me to do at this stage any information is always welcome uh thanks all for watching a little shot of the uh horn up there as well and uh see you guys in the next video hopefully that'll be engine work cheers